Did you know that lithium ion batteries have been causing fires? Well, here's some information you really need to know. In less than two years, 11 people perished and 251 were injured in New York City alone due to fires sparked by lithium ion batteries used to power e-bikes and e-scooters, according to the FDNY. In 2021, four people died, 79 people were injured, and 104 lithium ion battery fueled blazes in homes, and fire officials are very concerned. And this is what you need to know and you need to tell your friends. Because last year, those numbers took a concerning climb. Six people were killed and 142 people were hurt in 220 battery related fires. It has doubled. Now, why are these lithium ion batteries catching fire? Why is it happening and how can you prevent it? Before we jump down this rabbit hole for information you absolutely need to share with your friends and family, I wanna remind you to subscribe and click that little bell for notifications so you don't miss anything. We give you more than car reviews and first looks of new vehicles, we give you car smarts because knowledge is power. A lithium ion battery is an advanced battery technology that uses lithium ions as a key component of its electrochemistry. They are almost in every modern powered device and vehicle. The batteries have a tendency to overheat and can spontaneously combust when charged. The Clean Energy Institute said the batteries can also lose capacity and fail after a number of years. These lithium ion powered vehicles are used by food delivery workers. They rely on e-bikes and e-scooters that contain lithium ion batteries for their jobs. And some people and businesses store these vehicles in their living space and use them for transportation. But the biggest concerns are many fires that are caused by these lithium ion batteries, not just in big cities, but across the country and across the world. Lithium ion batteries have sparked 60 fires across New York City alone in the first three months of 2022, according to the fire department in the city. And that data shows and represents about 233% increase over the same period a year ago. Imagine what's gonna happen in 2023. Okay, so that's scooters. But what about electric cars? I'm sure you're thinking that. Yes, they're having issues with fires as well. A Tesla spontaneously burst into flames in California freeway just this past month, and firefighters used over 6,000 gallons of water to put it out. That's six times more than if it was a gasoline-powered car. And electric vehicles that have lithium-ion batteries can present fire and explosion hazards when they're damaged, and that's according to OSHA. These dramatic scenes are played out all around the country. It would make sense that an accident could cause a fire in any vehicle. But with lithium ion batteries, if you puncture them, the fire is even more intense and more difficult to put out. And there's the chemical chain reaction, which makes those cells keep setting the next one off. Now, the big concern with electric cars that are spontaneously catching fire these days is because of a crash. It's incidences like this that have some people questioning the safety of electric cars compared to gasoline powered cars. So the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration is very aware of this and they're looking into all the situations for both gas and electric. There has been a few recalls due to potential fires and manufacturers are standing behind their products and offering recalls to customers as issues arise. Lithium ion batteries, whether they're used in cars or electronic devices can catch fire if they've been improperly manufactured or damaged or if the software that operates the battery is not designed correctly. The major weakness in lithium ion batteries in electric cars is in the use of organic liquid electrolytes, which are volatile and flammable when operated at high temperatures. An external force such as a car crash can also lead to chemical leakage. For e-scooters and e-bikes, do not overcharge them. If they don't have a battery saver feature, unplug the vehicle when they're fully charged. In the meantime, Many buildings are banning electric personal mobile vehicles such as scooters and bikes. For EV fires, it's always been very difficult to pinpoint the exact root cause of the fire because it is extremely difficult to reenact the fire incident with the same exact conditions. Also authorities and car makers and the battery makers often do not disclose what is the exact safety risk caused for fire. Here's the bottom line, as of today's data, Posts about EVs spontaneously exploding or starting fires that can't be put out with water have helped promote the narrative that electric vehicles are far less safe than conventional cars. The research does not bear this out. 
Two recent Highway Loss Data Institute reports found that EVs posed no additional risk for non-crash fires. Electric car fires present a new technical and safety challenge for the fire departments, and these fires burn as much higher temperatures and require a lot more water to fight than a conventional car fire. The smartest move to prevent a home fire with an EV is to have a certified electrician install any home charger. And yes, it will cost more, but it will keep you safer. And if you have an e-bike or an e-scooter, unplug it when it's charged. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. If you have any questions or comments, because I'm sure you're going to have some and they're going to be good, I'll be happy to answer. And you can support me by buying me a cup of coffee. The link is down in the description, plus the links for our website, social media, book, and the podcast. I'm Lauren Fix. Thank you so much for watching.